Okay, I just wanted to do a really quick um, video to explain the indicators that I've uh, utilized in uh, adding the uh, session lines and swing levels um, that I explained and described in the uh, recent blog post I did on the Netpix blog. Um, so what, what the point of this was, was I was um, adding session reference lines, highs, lows, opens, closes, um, and particular swing levels um, in the um, any market that you're looking at, um, in order to um, be be able to have like a heads up on um, where the market might react, whether you you might get some context um, for a particular direction that you might try and take a trade in, uh, and so on and so forth. But uh, what we want to do is know how to bring those levels into the chart automatically because doing them each day is just another task that if the platform can do it for you all the better. Um, so first things first you can see here on the right hand side this is the main trend jumper chart so I'm just going to double click on one of these lines to bring the indicators up and what you can see is I've added the current day uh, OHL and the prior day OHLC indicators. Now on the OHL current day I've colored the, the high blue, the low red and the open green. On the prior day OHLC I've uh, colored the prior close orange, the high a uh, darker blue and the lower darker red and I've, I'm actually not so interested in the prior open um, it, it is useful but uh, for, for these purposes all I've done is I've made the color transparent so it just does not appear and so that will automatically plot those based on the session that you're using and it's quite important to get the right session because sometimes if you have a, a 24 hour chart such as um, pretty much 24 hour sessions such as in, in the currencies for example on the CME the currency futures such as the, the 6E futures um, NinjaTrader will plot the session break at midnight and that's not the right time so if you actually use the the instrument settings it will create the right um, session break time and therefore be able to compute the, the high and the low of the session um, and the open and the close obviously uh, correctly um, the other thing of course that I mentioned was swing levels so I'm talking about literally just major swings and sometimes you can see here this is not a major swing here although it, it does correspond pretty well to a, a previous level but um, we can see here uh, on the 17th this was actually the point of origin of the FOMC move in the DAX so I've, I've noted that down uh, with this line here uh, and then I've just put in some swing levels here and what I've done to get these automatically to draw in the execution, the trend jumper chart um, here is all I've done is I've put attached to so if you open up the line dialog box by double clicking on it uh, you go down to the attached to drop down menu and click on all charts. Now you can use this same 15 minute chart for um, for all of your uh, trade plans, all of your instruments that you use and just change it each time and it will keep that, it will hold that information uh, per instrument. So if I change this to a different instrument, say the FTSE that, I'm, uh, that I look at in the European Session Trade Room, it will still remember the lines from the DAX and uh, they, they will stay in the, the trend jumper chart on the DAX. So the other thing of course is that you could uh, consider adding cash session lines as well um, and the other the other important one is probably the session midpoint um, but that's really up to you. Um, one other thing that I was just going to let you know was a, a just a quick tip that um, one of the trade room um, members um, let me know and it's sort of one of those things that's just not that obvious um, and it's about element ordering and 
if you, you I was not aware that you could do this um, until it was um, pointed out to me but um, if you click on an element in NinjaTrader and then hold shift and then use the mouse scroll you get a little dialog that comes up well just a little a label that comes up and it tells you the level so you can actually change the level of that specific item so I'm going to bring this um, so we can currently see that the 50 period EMA is in yellow here is below clearly below the the candlesticks um, so if I just hold down shift and middle mouse scroll I can bring that up to the front and you can see it's now in front of the candlesticks just a really useful little tip there uh, on how to make your charts more usable more readable um, and customize them just that little bit more to your own tastes okay well I hope that's helped uh, any ninja trader users looking to replicate these charts and uh, thanks for watching